Hey guys, this is the HSA 86. This one's about 12 months old. Uh, it's been going well, I've had no problems with it. Um, good points. It's reasonably well balanced, not too heavy. Uh, takes the usual steel batteries. Uh, not overly expensive compared to the Husky, although the Husky does have a rotating handle, which this doesn't, so that's a bit of a disadvantage. And plastic gearbox sort of housing, and a fair bit of debris gets in through there. I'll take that off later on and show you. Um, so yeah, it's at a little bit of a disadvantage there, slightly lower blade speed, but the blade speed does seem to be enough. Good blades on it. Um, and it's, this is around about 360 for the skin. The Husky's about 600 bucks for the skin, so it's a lot more expensive machine. This is a bit lighter, obviously a lot cheaper. Um, and it cuts very, very nicely. Uh, not too noisy. Get a couple of hours out of the AP200 battery, which seems to be a good match as far as balance goes. Uh, the AP300 I get at least three hours out of, but that's uh, a bit heavier. Um, as I say, about 360 for this. I think these are around about the 200, 220 mark. Might be a tad more, can't remember. 150 for the charger. If you have already got batteries and charger, uh, then I think that makes this very good value. If you've got to buy the lot from scratch, don't know, I'd, I'd like to compare it maybe with the something like the Ego. Uh, they get a pretty good wrap. Um, I've seen a lot of the cheaper ones don't have the decent sort of double-sided blades. Uh, so there's a cutting surface on every blade there. Uh, and it does a very good job. Probably the, the biggest negative um, with the stills, and it, look, it hasn't been an issue, but I don't like the plastic housing, and there is not much of a seal here to stop stuff getting in. If I just pop these screws out, you'll see what I mean. There's quite a bit of quite a bit of debris in there. So all the little fine bits of cypress and that come through in here and are getting into the gearbox. Um, I think still absolutely has to improve that. I don't think that can be healthy, um, although it is, you know, it's all light stuff, but I don't like seeing it in there. Um, the HLA-65s have basically got the same sort of cam system, um, and they've gone 12 months now, fairly flat out at times. The last couple of months, they've been going Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday all day, um, and nothing's gone wrong with them. This is the same system, uh, so I don't see there's going to be um, any problem with longevity with them. I, I expect to get sort of four or five years out of this unit. Um, so yeah, that's that's probably the the biggest sort of thing that needs fixing with them. But apart from that, uh, a good unit. The other uh, stills, these have got uh, the uh, the good double sided blades. Uh, you can take off the nose protector if you want, but I've done that on occasion and I haven't found it goes through um, thick stuff any easier, so <laughs> may as well just leave it on. Um, I, I quite like the nose protectors up against sort of, you know, um, bricks and, and edging and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, blades are excellent. Blades are very, very good. 
go. As you can see, that does a excellent job of actually cutting. The actual operator is a bit wonky from time to time, but can't blame the machine for that. Uh, it's quiet, it's quick, it's efficient, no noise, no pollution, no leads, no petrol, no two-stroke. Uh, those batteries take about 50 minutes to charge, and as I say, go for about two hours, the AP200. Um, I think the machine's pretty good value. That one's about 12 months old. Uh, now, that will supposedly cut uh, around about 23 mil in diameter, um, but I don't think I'd like to point it at that very often. Um, I'd, I'd sort of like to keep it mainly for fine stuff, keep it nice and sharp for, for the box hedges and the uh, diosmas and things like that. Um, but it can certainly get through some heavier stuff when you want it to. So there you go. Good value, I think. Um, and I'd have to say, as I say, after 12 months, yeah, highly recommended.